Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to the next installation of the Weapon Series. Because I just reviewed the M7A last week, I decided that it would only make sense to bring you the next weapon coming down the pipe. The M5A. The M5A is a size 3 laser cannon within the M series from Bering. Before we continue, I need to throw up a huge warning. As of the 9th of September 2016, this weapon is not yet available in store. It is, however, the default weapon on the now flight-ready Xi'an Scout, and because of that, if you had access to that ship, you could technically cross-load them over to another ship. I rented two Xi'an Scouts from the Electronic Access Store to get a sneak peek of what's coming. Hopefully CIG will give us the ability to buy or rent these in the very near future. There are two classes within energy weapons, cannons and repeaters. The main difference between the laser cannon and the laser repeater is that the laser cannon has a slower rate of fire, however it has a more powerful shot. I personally favor aimed shots, so I find myself enjoying the laser cannons such as the Omnisky or the Bearings. Unfortunately, as far as size 3 energy weapons go, the 227 is basically it. The M5A is a true step up from the M4A, and I can't wait to have more diversity in the store. Based on what I read and a lot of testing, here's what I think you need to know. To recap, it's a size 3 weapon, and as of right now, it's only available by cross-loading it over from a scout. It has a very quick rate of fire of 160 rounds per minute, a range of 1628 meters, a velocity of 2170 meters per second, and it does physical damage in the order of 111 per shot. A single M5A does a respectable 296 damage per second. To put that into perspective, it out DPSs by 80, a Panther 227. And further, where this starts to make a lot more sense is when you calculate how that actually looks on a loadout. Mounting four of these on a Sabre nets a theoretical maximum DPS of 1184. This is definitely not the most powerful loadout you can use, however it isn't prone to overheating and won't run out of ammo. I found the loadout pretty competitive in PvP. The weapon has a great velocity which means that the pips are very manageable. They're very easy to use and do a good amount of damage compared to other weapons. So in closing, this is a completely effective weapon and I can't wait to see it in store. And that's it. I'll keep you up to date when there's changes in the future. I hope you liked my no bullshit approach and got something out of this video. There's currently a giveaway linked up for an LTI prospector. It's with the support of my patron backers that I can bring this type of thing to the Star Citizen community. Please like and subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. If you're new here, please take some time to check out the popular upload section. Thanks and I'll see you in the verse.